What's up guys, Deal over here. So we got double weapon XP and I've been working really hard to uh, unlock attachments for my weapons and uh, do the zombies challenges so I can get a dark aether camo. Uh, I just finished uh, assault rifles, uh, pistols, and the M79 grenade launcher. I got diamond on them. And I only need three more weapon classes before I get dark aether camo. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the plague diamond camo on the guns I have so far in game and zombies. So let's get straight to the, here's the XM4. It's uh, very pink and uh, a little bit purple in the darker areas. It's definitely not my favorite camo. I do like Golden Viper just because the textures on it look really cool. The way the camos are for me is that I like the Golden Viper uh, more than multiplayer gold, but the multiplayer diamond I probably like more than this Plague Diamond. And of course, the uh, Dark Aether looks better than DM Ultra. So this is the AK-47 Plague Diamond. Pretty nice. Plague Diamond camo, uh, when you see other players holding it, or an animation like flying it on the helicopter, it definitely stands out to the other colors on these maps or in this game. It's very vibrant compared to, you know, like this door. So here's the Krig. Ow. It's pretty nice. So I think all the Plague Diamond camos have diamond on the body of the gun. And I think some of them have it on a barrel. And then the glossy, kind of purplish pinkish parts are on the accessories. Like the magazine, the barrel, the stock. I didn't even notice the charging handle is diamond as well. So here's the QBZ. Sort of with the uh, Dark Aether camo as well, the diamond part of the gun uh, doesn't really show up on screen so much as the purple part. That's why I'm hoping that with uh, Dark Aether they make it cover the entire gun like diamond as well. Pretty nice. The diamonds cover a lot more on this gun. Team, we need to find the facility entrance and figure out just what happened. At here. first, I didn't really like this camera that much, but now that I'm seeing it on the different weapons, I think I'm starting to like it a lot. If it was different colors, maybe it could be a pack punch camo for a zombies map or something. This is probably my favorite starting weapon in Zombies in this game, the 1911. Covers the entire weapon, and you can see it very nicely. Ooh, those iron sights. Yeah, these iron sights are uh, not very good. Undead Tango down. That's enough for you. Despite the iron sights being bad, I can still one tap those zombies. The Magnum, Magnum, the Magnum. And the good thing about this camo is that it's so bright and vibrant that even if you're in a if you're in a dark place still stands out from everything else in the background. Iron sights are pretty good. Down you go. Down you go. Though considering the 
experiments undertaken here. I should have known it would. So here's a diamati. It's pretty nice, but the iron sights on this gun are just terrible. And this gun's not that good. It looks pretty nice, but there's nothing special. Actually, I would say that it's a little bit special because the majority of the gun is diamond. Onto the shotguns, probably the most powerful weapons in this game. Both multiplayer and zombies. I've seen a lot of people in multiplayer with this camo. Since it's only two weapons in the weapon class, it's very easy to get this camo. This place it's pretty is the good. Cause of the outbreaks we're encountering. Better get inside and solve this case. My team can handle it, Dr. Gr a thing to note with uh, the diamond camos is that on uh, some of the attachments, I think all of them except for the uh, sights, the attachments, they have purple on it. So the more attachments you put on this gun, uh, the more purple is on it. So that's a pretty cool thing. Here's the gallo. It's pretty cool. I'm surprised that the diamond part goes up onto the, uh, well, what would be the stock that's folded up on top of the shotgun. Iron sights are very interesting to look down. So this is ground zero. Whatever Looks like those diamonds are actually sparkling. All over the world. Pretty cool. The and just like the Howard, there's a lot of people in multiplayer running around with the Plague Diamond Gallo. It's a pretty good gun. Same thing with the Howard, so it's very easy to get this camo. Now here's the Plague Diamond on the knife. It's pretty nice. The only diamond part on it is the handle. <laughs> Now to get Plague Diamond on this, you also have to get Plague Diamond on the M79 knife and the M79 grenade launcher are both under uh, the same weapon class to get the camo, but they're not under the same weapon class to get the Dark Aether camo. So if you do the knife and then the special class with the grenade launcher, it would count as two weapon classes out of nine towards your Dark Aether camo. Here's Plague Diamond on the M79 grenade launcher. It's pretty nice. The diamonds are covering the entire barrel and a little part on the handle. This grenade launcher is very weak in both multiplayer and zombies. A few weeks ago, you actually have to get 1,500 multi-shot kills with this grenade launcher, and when they patched it, so now you only have to get 50. Some YouTubers spent, like, an entire day just getting 1,500 multi-shot kills with this gun. And I only have to get 50, so, uh, I'm a gamer. Yeah, this grenade launcher sucks. Uh, I'll probably never see this camo on this gun in my entire life ever again. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment down below, and like the video. Uh, I'm gonna keep working towards the Dark Aether camo. Uh, I should get it by Christmas if we do get another double XP on Christmas. Got about two days left uh, before the season comes out. I'll make some videos on that later this week, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.